Chinese marbled eggs are kind of a quintessential Chinese snack, and I love making them mostly because I found a secret way to make sure that the yolk doesn't get overcooked. One of the things that I remember being so sad about as a child is that sometimes the yolk will get overcooked because the egg is boiling in the liquid for such a long time and it gets that kind of like gross green color. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start with that kind of soy sauce base and we're gonna cool it down before we put the egg in. So let's put the soy sauce and the water in a stock pot, small pot. We're putting in three sachets of black tea, some black peppercorn, ginger, star anise, and a five spice powder. We're just bringing that to a light simmer. We're gonna let that simmer for maybe 30 minutes to make sure we get the flavors of the black tea into it. And then we're going to crack this nice hard boiled egg. So make sure you hard boil your eggs gently so they don't overboil. And I also like to shock them in ice and water afterwards. So now that it's hard boiled, to make that nice marbling, we're gonna crack the surface and then put it in this mixture once it's cold and leave it in the fridge for about three days. And the soy sauce will kind of seep in on the edges and create that pretty marbling effect. So I like to just crack the ends first and you're gonna roll it gently across the table. It's not super hard. You're gonna get some uneven spots, some spots that have more cracks than others, one big crack, it's all okay. The soy sauce will seep in in all sorts of interesting ways and that's why it's such a fun and pretty thing to make. After we've mixed together the black tea and soy sauce and let it simmer for a little bit, we wanna cool it completely and put the cracked egg into it. Then you let it marinate in the fridge for about three days. I don't want it to go on too long. You're eagerly anticipating your egg. So when you remove it from the fridge, it's gonna kinda look like this. It's all nice and brown outside. It's all still got the cracks intact. And if you see here, we've got a couple of them that we've peeled. They've got that nice marbling. You'll get some patches like that, and that's okay. I'm gonna cut one open, and you'll see it's nice and yellow, which makes me so happy. And voila! Got a nice yellow yolk still, since it's been marinating in a cold liquid and not being too overheated. And that's how you make Chinese marbled eggs.